Um, that's a really good question. No! No, no! I- Use the script, Alice. Oh, I'm, I'm trying. No, not you, Mr. Daphnol. Daphnol! Sorry! No, 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 I am paying attention! Come on, Alice. Oh, don't. <laughs> Leonard and I broke up. Make yourself. Thanks. Listen, Alice, I'm really sorry about what happened, but what are you doing here? You're my big brother. Totally. And you just want to talk about things, or? Leonard and I broke up. I need a place to stay. And you want to use our internet to find a new apartment? Jesus, Alex, you're my brother. Can't I stay with you? I know I am, and I love you, but we have a baby now. Ugh, I know you do. Do you? Because you haven't been by a single time. Look, you know I'm not a baby person. I'll just sleep in the guest room and stay out of your way. You turned it into a nursery? Of course we turned it into a nursery. Oh, even the nightstand is mortified. The nightstand is perfectly content. Okay, 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 it's fine. We can still make this work. Where will he sleep while I'm here? Just sleep on the couch for tonight. We will talk about this in the morning. Yuck. Yuck. you and you came. What are you talking about? And what are you doing with the baby monitor? Oh, I was calling you through the monitor like a shofar. But I don't have a shofar. I have a bong. Oh, well, you didn't pack your shofar? Leonard got it in the breakup. Come on, Alice. You can't smoke with the baby right now. Alex. What? You keep calling him the baby. Did you name the baby? The baby needs a name, Alex. <gasps> Unless, did you name him Baby? Like a gender-defying ode to Dirty Dancing? Because His that would be- name is Max. Oh, Max. I like it. Well, Max is fussy AF, so I needed a little something to put me under. All right, fine. Just please blow the smoke out the window. No, it's fine. I'll use the vape pen instead. You had that the whole time? Do you want some? You know I can't. I'm the only adult here. <coughs> Burn. You know what I mean. Look, I'll sit with you for a bit. Just let me go get a drink. Settle down. <laughs> I knew he wasn't the one for you. What? How? Because his name was Leonard. And he went by Leonard. Not Leo or Len. Just Leonard. But... What about Leonard Nimoy? Or Leonard Bernstein? Stein. Steve. Do you think either of those are your soulmates? Good point. I still think it's weird that Leonardo DiCaprio's first name is Leonardo. You're high as hell. <laughs> Leo Nardo. You have always been so weird. Yeah, but you're a dad. What's that like? What's it like? Yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel? Uh, great. Uh, overwhelming. Uh, like, I'm in way over my head, but I'm doing exactly what I was meant to do. You always did tell dad jokes. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I remember when we were kids at Disneyland and you told this palm tree joke. What was the joke? Um, <laughs> what did one palm tree say to the other? Palm tree. I'm glad we're fronds. <laughs> Whatever, that joke holds up. We have this blog. You did not just say that. Shut up. It's mostly just pictures of Max for friends and relatives to look at. Gross. Anyway, I was looking through it the other day and in every picture where you could see Max, 
getting bigger and stronger and smarter. You can see me in the background, getting older and more tired and, well... <laughs> Dude, kids steal your life essence. Didn't you know that? Pretty soon, you're gonna be fading from all those pictures like Marty McFly when his mom was trying to bone him. <laughs> Whatever. Your favorite one is the third movie. Everyone's favorite is the third. Python says Frisbee. It's genius. You're an idiot, and I'm going to bed. And if you wake me up one more time tonight, I'm gonna tell Lauren you smoked with the baby. Whoa. Whoa. Real talk, where's Lauren? <gasps> Did she leave you? What? No. She said a bachelorette party in L.A. Oh, she left you. You're a single dad. That's worse than me. Do you want to join Tinder or Grindr? Do you want to make a profile? You're the worst, <laughs> and I'm going to bed. Shut up. Alex. Alex! Alex! What? What? Your baby is the devil's alarm. Turn it off or... Shut it up or whatever! Thanks for letting me stay here, Alex. You're the best, Alex. I had literally anywhere else I could have gone, I would have. Well, well, I'm at work today. You can start looking at apartment listings. What's your price range? Zero dollars. I'm serious. How much money do you make? Zero dollars. You don't have a job. Not at the moment. What happened to that office manager job you had? You mean my temp gig from four years ago? It didn't work out. So, Leonard's been paying for everything? Don't say it like that. But yes, maybe it was one of the reasons we broke up. But I was acting. Oh, you were? I was trying to act. You don't want a nanny, do you? Fuck. No, absolutely not. Kids are like the gum on the bottom of your favorite shoes, except the shoes are your life. And the gum is there until one of you dies, unless the gum dies first, and then you probably go to jail, and either way, you wish you were dead because you're sad about the gum. It's not a perfect analogy, is it? You get the point. It was just a thought. Next. I don't know, Alice. What are you good at? I don't know. What? What do you do? I... Hmm. Get dressed. I'm gonna make a call and I'll show you what I do. You might even get a job out of it. <sighs> You're a telemarketer? I am a salesman. Oh, you told mom and dad you work at Google. Well, I lied. Look, did you see how happy they were? No one wants to go around telling the other parents that their son sells frozen meat for a living. Ew, frozen meat? Look, Sharp, here comes Denise. Alex, good that you're here. And this must be the sister you mentioned. Uh, yes, Denise, this is Alice. Oh, nice to meet you. Alex and Alice. Your parents must have been masochists. Or were they just lazy? You're not lazy, are you, Alice? No. Uh, work smarter and harder. That's what I always say. She is always saying that. Mm. Huh. Alex says you have extensive telecommunication experience. Oh, yeah. I, I really know my way around the phone. <laughs> okay. Well, then we'll start you at the higher pay rate and you can take um, Megan's desk. Who's Megan? She's a girl who thought I was joking when I said she had to make her first sale by the end of her first day. Oh. There's a manual and script at the desk. I'd like you to start making calls by this afternoon. With any luck, I'll be referring to that desk as Alice's desk the next time I give this talk. Oh, thank you. And Alex? Yeah. It's 9.15. You owe me 15 minutes at the end of your shift today? I love her. Away I go. Hi, customer name? Hi, it's Alice. I'm calling you today to talk about Freezer Fresh, a super cool service that delivers only the highest quality meats and other groceries right to your door in a specialty freezer all your own. Now tell me, customer name, do you like meat? I bet your husband does. 
Excuse me? Oh, it's the next line of the script. If you talk to the woman and if she says she doesn't like meat, I bet your husband does. <laughs> what we're really doing is saying, your husband's not a big pussy, is he? <laughs> I mean, what's she supposed to say to that? Either he does like meat, in which case we're in, or he doesn't and she wants to prove she married a real man, in which case we're also in. Wow, that's super sexist. Honey, welcome to meat sales. Ugh, my intro to feminism professor just rolled over in her grave. Oh my god. Is your intro to feminism professor dead? Probably. Her ideas really seem to piss people off. Well, the vagina monologues this ain't. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all just read from the same script? At first. After a little while, you get to be a little bit more creative. Yeah. Oh, see that woman over there? That's Lorraine. She's been at this over 30 years. Was offered management, turned it down. The way she talks on the phone, straight out of Mad Men. Except, you know, a woman. Ooh. Like Peggy. Never saw the show. <laughs> See that girl? That's Lena. She does accents. Accents? Yep, all kinds. British, Russian, Southern, Canadian, Middle Eastern, African. Oh, I heard her do a heavy Chinese accent once. It was super racist, but highly effective. <laughs> Listen. In Russia, it's considered great honor to freeze to death in summer and be eaten by town wolves. This is what is considered eating local. Lucky for you, you live in America, where you can get frozen meats delivered right to your door, where the wolves can't get inside, even if they huff and puff. It's a big problem in my country, the huffing and the puffing. You buy meat now, yes? Wow, that is something. You kid, but it feels like freedom after months of, and veggies so fresh, you'll swear you picked them right from your garden. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to fake jerk off in your direction. Honey, welcome to meat sales. Oh, I like you. Mm. Uh, you know how to use the software? Uh, yeah, it's all in the handbook. Okay, and just remember, for legal reasons, you can't prematurely hang up on a customer. Wait, what? Why not? Mm, discrimination or something? They hate when we call them, and they hate it even more when we hang up. Wonderful. Okay, good luck. Don't freak out. And remember, day one is a numbers game, so just dial, dial, dial. Come on, Alice. Meat so tender. Meat so tender. Ugh, no, shit. Alex, I'm a vegetarian. Listen, Martha, I know those other big companies have better name recognition, but I can promise you they don't care at all about you. <laughs> I thought you might like that one, Martha. The money we save on advertising, we pass directly on to you through our amazing prices. So not only are our fruits and veggies the freshest, they're also the least expensive. So, orange, you glad I called you today? <laughs> Fantastic, Martha. That's great. I'm going to transfer you over to my processing supervisor so we can get you signed up and eating better today. All right. No, thank you, Martha. Okay, bye-bye now. And that is how that you... That was disgusting. What the hell? This whole thing is disgusting. I can't believe you made me do this. Just so we're clear, you still need money, right? Look, even if this whole thing didn't ugh, make me fear for my immortal soul, there's still the fact that I am a vegetarian. I don't eat meat, Alex. Look, I don't eat cauliflower, but I talked about it like I would let my Tamagotchi die just to have some. I hate everything about what you just said. You're an actress. Act. It's not that hard. Yum. So juicy. Well marbled. The most tender. Just treat it like a roll and use the script. Fine. Fine. But I'm only doing this because Denise seems like a badass bitch and I don't want to let her down. Literally whatever does it for you. Please go back to your desk so that I can go back to crushing it. Oh God, we should not talk at work. We really shouldn't. Here we go. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Who is this? 
Uh, hi, Kathleen. Uh, this is Alice. And I'm calling today- Oh, no, 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 thank you. Yeah? Hi, Noreen? Do I sound like a Noreen? Oh, uh, I mean, Gerald? <sighs> Don't call here again. like it for me better get up career opportunities better get up i'm talking about career opportunities Hi. hola career opportunities fuck my life Hello? Oh, hi. Is this Elena? Yes. Hi, Elena. This is Alice. What can I do for you, dear? I'm calling today to talk to you about Freezer Fresh, a super cool service that hang delivers. On, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I. You should talk to my husband. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, great. Um... Leonard! Phone! Just a minute, just a minute. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Billy, there's nobody. Uh, Leonard, hi. Hi. Whom am I talking to? Uh, this is Alice. Of course it is. Do I know you, Alice? Uh, well, no. I'm... In that case, Alice, please call me Mr. Daphne. Uh. Alice? Uh, Mr. Daphne, sorry. Daphne. Mr. Yeah, Daphne. Mr. Daphne. Yes, of course. Um, I'm calling today from Freezer Fresh, a super cool service that delivers only the highest quality meats and groceries right to your front door in its own specialty freezer. Now, tell me, Mr. Daph Null, do you like meat? I have dangerously high cholesterol, Alice. Of course I like meat. Uh, wonderful. Great. Um, does that mean you're a, a steak guy? What's going on over there? Are you being held against um, your will? That's a really good question. It is? Are you a hostage? Some sort of meat selling hostage? My wife felt I should converse No! With... No, no! I... Use the script, Alice. I'm trying. What? No, not you, Mr. Daphnol. Daphnol! Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna hang up. You're either not paying attention or you're a hostage. And either way, my program's no, about no, no, to No, 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 I am paying attention. Come on, Alice. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Leonard! Mr. No, Leonard. I'm new at this, and it has been a weird couple of days, but I promise you that it is worth your time if you just hear me out. Go on. Among other things, Leonard, we sell meat. But not just any meat. This is the highest quality meat, flash frozen with the latest technology to ensure that freshness and flavor is sealed in until the moment you take it out and pop it in the toaster. Oven. Oven! Or a, a, a grill, right? Grilling meats? <laughs> uh, now, Leonard, I don't care if you eat this meat raw. I mean, don't eat the meat raw, Leonard. <laughs> We're all civilized here. Uh, all I'm saying is that this meat gets to you as fresh as the moment it was murdered in front of its peers. And you mentioned steak. Oh, Len, Leo, baby. It is so good and tender and juicy. Juicy, oh, and it's so marbles you won't even believe it. You mean marbled. Totally. Uh, I think I've lost my marbles just how marbled this steak is. <laughs> or maybe it's just the mad cow. I mean, no, uh, I mean, our steaks don't have, all I'm saying, it is a so, I heart our meats. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you're absolutely full of it or just Looney Tunes, but why don't you give me the price for all this? And if the numbers work, we'll give it a shot. Great. Yeah, yeah, um, thank you. I will transfer you to my product supervisor and we will get you signed up and eating healthy right away. <gasps> Denise, 
What's the office policy on swearing? I'll allow it. Give me yours made your first sale. Well then, holy shit! Thank you, complete stranger, Leonard! Fuck you, ex-boyfriend Leonard. You didn't know anything. Eat. That's enough. Yeah, okay, totally cool. Yeah. So, what now? It's 5.32. Get back on the line. And Alice, it's not Megan's desk anymore. We'll be seeing you tomorrow. I don't eat cauliflower, but I talked about it like I would delete Candy Crush just to have some. Like I would stop watching House Hunters International. Like I'd never watch another episode of Bachelors in Paradise. Watch an episode of Toddlers and Tiaras, just below deck Mediterranean. Dance Moms just to have some. Moms, just to Fuck. have some. God damn it. Dance Moms.